Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Of course, a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now there has been a virus going around. I don't know if you know about it, but <laughs> with the recent pandemic, many people are realizing that they want to try to stay as healthy and as safe as possible while going out their daily lives in the world. And recently there has been kind of a wave of these new tools that allow you to touch things without actually using your hands. Now call them touchless tools or no touch tools or even touch tools. They all do the same thing. And today I want to show uh, three or four different kinds today that I think are really worth your time. And I think that if you want to keep safe, these might be something you want to look at. And when you're going out in the world and you have to touch the same doorknobs and door handles and touch the same buttons that hundreds of people touch a day, it's a good idea to have something that allows you to touch it without using your hands. And you might not remember to wash your hands or sanitize your hands immediately after leaving a store. So having one of these tools is a great way to minimize the germs on your hands. Now, before we get started, I want to uh, do a couple of disclaimers here. First, there have been some studies that suggest that these tools are antimicrobial. I don't know the extent of what that means. I don't know if it means that the germs die immediately. I don't know if it means that they die over a certain span of time. And I don't know how many of the germs it kills. So I can't make any specific health claims here. But what I can say is that even if all of these tools were not antimicrobial, all of them mitigate the surface area that you touch with your hands. And that is a huge benefit by itself. Now here's a tool that I found at Walmart, and this is one of those tools. And it copies a kind of traditional design, which is almost in the shape of a key, if you look at it. And it has a touch point here, a grab point there, and there's even a little, uh, almost like a gun. And it has a little arm that sticks out where you can grab doors and stuff like that. This one is extremely cheap, about $5. And I'm keeping it in the package because I'm gonna return it. <laughs> this one is made of solid brass. It's very, very thin, and it's also very lightweight. And ideally what you want out of these tools is something that is brass or copper. Those are the type of metals that are supposedly antimicrobial to a certain degree. Now, from what I understand, you have to keep them clean. So you should keep them polished with a type of uh, jewelry polish like flits and make sure that they're nice and clean and shiny like this one is. Otherwise it gets dirty and grimy like uh, this brass uh, cuff right here. And apparently that does not mitigate the germs as much as it's supposed to. So keep them clean. Now the first tool I want to talk about on this list is by Keras Customs. And this is called the Whatchamacaris. Now I love Keras Customs. I've reviewed a couple of their pens on my channel before, on my uh, bolt action pens and on my EDC pens videos. I reviewed their pens there absolutely love them. I think they have a great aesthetic, great design. This is one of those products that they make that is not a pen. This is obviously a, a touch tool or touchless tool. It's in the shape of a hook, like a pirate's hook. And that's what I think is the brilliance of this design. Now, as you can see, this has a good bit of patina on it already. I've used it a good bit in the wild and I really like this a lot. On the side here, it actually has the name engraved that says Wachimacaris. And now I've flitzed this um, a few times and I'm careful to flitz that name just because it might wipe off. I wanna keep the name there as long as I can. So I'm, I'm very careful about that. I really love this tool because it's a very eccentric design lots of personality, but it has everything that you're looking for in this style of tool. It has a protuberance on the end right there where you can touch buttons and touch certain things that you don't want to put your fingers on. It has a hook on this end right here, which allows you to grab doorknobs, door handles, and things like that. You can even, you can even pick up stuff with this little hook right there. I'm sure you could probably also uh, take off some bottle tops with that little end right there. There's some jimping on the top here, which allows you to get a good grip if you need it. There's some holes on the very end, which allow you to attach this to a keychain, which is really great, handy, if you want to keep this on you at all times. And because of its hook design, if you have this attached to your keys, you can actually loop this around your belt loop and keep it in there at all times if you want to, which is a great little feature to have. Also, the end right here, because it's capacitive, allows you to touch keypads uh, whenever you're checking out you know, at a grocery store or something like that. The weight on this is about two and a half ounces and it feels hefty in the hand and it feels maybe heavier than that. I think just because of the way it's shaped and the way that the weight is kind of shifted around, uh, but it's a little chunky. I actually really like that. And because you can hook it onto your uh, belt loop, I think that's a great feature to have. 
kind of alleviate your keys, take them out of your pocket. Keras Custom has a couple of other tools as well. They have another one which is kind of more in the traditional key shape, and they have an even smaller one, which is a tool that doesn't allow you to grab things uh, like doorknobs, but it does allow you to touch certain things, and it's a lot smaller. You can keep that on your keychain as well. The price on this is very affordable. It's around the $30 mark, and I think this is really worth it. If you want something that is high quality, that looks really cool, and allows you to keep safe and keep at a distance from germs, definitely check it out. Much of a Keras by Keras Custom. Next is the Paw Tool. Now this is the only product that I believe Paw Tool sells. And I found this just by searching touchless tools. And I'm really glad that I found this company because they do a really interesting touchless tool design that offers a lot of different features packed in this one design. Now, as you can see, it has the traditional kind of key shape that I think is really handy. On the end there is a little paw, which if you have a, a doggy, then that's gonna be kind of cute and you're gonna like that. It has a place for a key ring so you can keep this on your keychains as well. There's a bottle cap opener at the top there, which is really convenient. And there is a couple of other things too. It has these little notches right here and right here. It allows you to unlock maybe locks on a doorknob without touching it or allow you to kind of kind of weave your, uh, weave it around objects like maybe a uh, pull, like a drawstring or something like that. And this little nib right here is actually for smartphones or for iPads that allow you to draw on there or of course check out screens at points of sale, things like that where you have to sign your name or stuff like that. You can actually take this off if you don't want to, if you don't like that extra little protuberance there, you can keep that just like that if you want. This is a great design. It's on the larger side, it offers a lot of functions here. Now, of course, this is made from brass and I think they did a really great job of balancing how thick this should be. They could have gone thinner to save weight but I don't know if it would have been as strong and they could have gone thicker but that would have added a lot more weight. So this is a good balance for weight and uh, functions there and strength. When I weighed these this is actually a little bit heavier than the Watchamacaris which really surprised me because it feels lighter in the hand. It doesn't feel as heavy as it is. This is about 2.9, 2.8 ounces something like that which is still not a lot but heavier than I was expecting. But overall, it has a lot of different functions and I really enjoy this a lot. It's just a great design. They really thought about how you can use this and how you can uh, not touch the most possible things. I really like how they did that. I love how they added the little doggy uh, paw there. I think that's really cute. But more importantly, they're just offering a tool that does everything that you need to keep you safe and offers it uh, at a really well-designed place. There's no rough edges, which is really great. Everything is really smooth on the outside. It's just a really well done tool. But overall, they're just offering a really great design, very functional, that keeps you safe and at a really good value. I think this is around the $30 mark as well. And that's really a great deal. So yeah, definitely check them out paw tool. And last is the Sigma Touch Tool by Craig Hill. Now, Craig Hill is a company that uh, I haven't talked a lot about on the channel, but I have mentioned before in a previous video where I talked about EDC stuff. Craig Hill makes a lot of uh, very kind of minimalist or maybe essentialist type of designs for things. And they make one of my favorite uh, bracelets here. It's a cuff. And um, I don't think they have this one in stock, but they make other cuffs and pieces of jewelry as well. And I think this is just really masculine, very simple, love it a lot. They make home and desk tools and different things like that. Now this is their Sigma. And what I love about it is that it is in the shape of a Sigma. I love that. It's pretty small and pretty lightweight. It weighs just under one ounce, which you almost don't even feel. And what I really love about this is that because it's so small, you can actually put this on your keychain and it's, you know, almost not there. I really like that a lot. All the edges on it are beveled and it just looks really cool. I love the Sigma shape. I think that's a brilliant design because of the Sigma shape, which I think is brilliant. That allows you to pull doorknobs and things like that. And then at the very end is a little flat little spot where you can, you can touch little buttons and different things like that. The flat end is placed at the perfect angle, which is very comfortable to use and touch things. This is just a really beautiful, elegant design that is a minimalist solution to the touch tool, which I really love. I think they did a brilliant job with this design. It has a good thickness to it. It's pretty small. And though it doesn't offer a lot of the other bells and whistles that the other two have, what it does offer is a smaller footprint, which is kind of a compromise that you can take. If you want something larger that does other things, these other two are really great. If you want something smaller and lighter, this is a really great option. And I believe this is around $30 as well. 
which makes this another one that is a great deal. All things considered, I think that all of these tools are fantastic and I really think that they're worth your time. You definitely need something to keep you from touching surfaces that everyone is touching that maybe they've picked their nose and they're touching a button or they sneezed on something or you know whatever this is just a great way where you can pull a doorknob or you can touch a keypad or you can sign your name or something like that without having to use your fingers and if these are antimicrobial and they kill germs all the better but what i love about each of these is they offer a lot of different solutions they offer a lot of different personality and looks at a great value as well and it's a lot of convenience you can keep it on your keychain you don't have to worry about it and you can keep safe. This stupid virus has changed the way that we live, in some ways good and in some ways bad, but I think that these touchless tools are a good thing. I think they're here to stay, and I personally am definitely going to be using these for years to come to keep my filthy hands away from buttons and doorknobs <laughs> and to keep other people's germs away from me. If you like any of these, definitely go and check them out. I'll have links down below to them. So what do you think? What is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, what is your favorite touchless tool? Do you like any of these? Let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. And click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beastmate Reviews.